Hey guys, I'm Bo from Team 6209 Venom, and I'll be demonstrating how to use the uh, Adafruit 9-axis IMU. So, when you receive your Adafruit uh, IMU, you'll have the actual IMU, and you'll also have um, some random number of pins that are used to attach the ports on the IMU to um, other sources. In this case, it would be the core device interface here that you can get from Modern Robotics and it'll allow your robot and your phones to read all the data coming off of it. Um, so once you receive all of your stuff, you're gonna wanna cut all of the pins into um, uh, a length of six and four, as you can see here. Um, there are four pins that should go on the top and six pins that should go here on the bottom. So once you, once you um, do that, you need to solder the pins onto the IMU. So you can either solder it like this with the uh, long side um, pointing this way, or you can solder it with the long pins pointing that way, it doesn't matter. But you need to make sure that the pins, as they have a long side and a short side, you want the short side to be the part that is actually soldered onto the IMU. Um, so once you solder that, uh, you're gonna want to wire the IMU so that it, uh, the core device interface can read all the data. So you need to get some of these female to female wires. Um, you can find them on Adafruit or eBay, anywhere really. Um, so once you get those, you want to plug four of the female wires into an I2C port on the core device interface. Um, uh, so the I2C ports are these along here. They even say I2C on them. Um, you can plug them into any open I2C port. So once you have the four wires plugged into there, So now you have your core device interface and your IMU right here, and they're all ready to go. So in the next video, I'll explain how to configure the phones so that um, your robot will be able to use the data.